Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Back Porch. On this Tuesday for today's Daily Video Devo, Renee here. And you know, tomorrow is Ash Wednesday, and that's the traditional start of the 40-day period of Lent, which is the period leading up to Easter. Easter is a time of joy and celebration, rejoicing in the fact that Jesus died for our sins on the cross, and then he rose again to give us power to live today. But uh, Christians have known for centuries that the ecstasy you can experience at Easter largely depends on how fully you understand what it is that Jesus Christ did for you and continues to do for you and will continue to do for you. In other words, he forgives your sins, he gives you power to overcome your sins, and to really realize how huge that is, you kind of have to see how huge your sins are. And that's why this 40-day period of Lent traditionally is the time that we come before God in honest, rigorous, moral self-examination and we say, God, this is what I'm really struggling with right now. I need your forgiveness and I need you to empower me to change. Traditionally, Lent starts uh, with churches reading about uh, John the Baptist, Mark chapter 1, verse 4. We're going to be in the Gospel of Mark every single weekend leading up to Easter in our sermons. And it says, John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness preaching a baptism of repentance. So he preached about repentance leading up to the grace-oriented ministry of Jesus Christ. Uh, it doesn't say John the Baptist came into uh, the wilderness preaching a gospel of self-esteem or preaching a gospel of being good to yourself or preaching a gospel of how I'm okay, you're okay, everybody's okay. He preached a gospel of repentance. And repentance means you have done an honest self-examination. You've said, God, there are ways I am messing up. Thank you for forgiving me, for making a way for me to overcome this. And Lord, I need your power right now to change. We live in a world that does not really emphasize that, right? We live in a world where uh, accepting yourself and everything about yourself is seen as the highest virtue. But of course, John the Baptist is saying here, there's some things about yourself that you shouldn't tolerate. There are some ways that maybe in your anger, maybe in your lust, maybe in your envy, maybe in gluttony or sloth or pride, you are out of control. And when you confess that, thank God for his forgiveness, thank him for his power that's available to you to help you change, that's when, when Easter rolls around, you can truly, absolutely rejoice. So today, this Tuesday, just get your mind ready for Lent that starts tomorrow on Wednesday, because for that 40-day period, we're going to be focusing on Jesus Christ's journey to the cross and how much we need that, how much we need his forgiveness, we need his power. And then when we do this together, when Easter comes around, man, it is going to be ecstasy. It is going to be glorious. Now, these next 40 days are not a time for morose self-examination. They're a time for rigorous, honest, uh, taking of moral inventory of ourselves so that we can come before God completely transparent. There's a great verse in Psalm 139, verse 23. It says, search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. And that's the prayer really for the next 40 days. God, search me. God, know me. God, test me and, and kind of be a mirror to me, reveal to me where I need to change to reflect the character of Jesus Christ. Hey, I am super looking forward to these 40 days or so leading up to Easter. I hope you are too, because God wants to change you. You can change. He is going to make you more into the image of Jesus Christ, and he's going to do it in part, incrementally, over the next 40 days. It's gonna be a good, good time leading up to Easter. Well, God bless you. Have a great day.